guys. Today we're in Memphis, Tennessee, standing outside of the Arcade, the oldest restaurant in town. Now, what's the big deal about this place? Well, for one thing, it was in a bunch of movies. It was in uh, Walk the Line, Great Balls of Fire, and The Firm. But that's not the main reason we're here. The main reason we're here because as a young Elvis Presley used to come in here and get his fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches way back in the 50s. So we're going to head in there and go and sit in his booth. And Bobby's going to get something kind of unique down here too. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Nice plaque out here in front telling you what kind of movies were made here. So the Mystery Train film, Great Balls of Fire. 40 Shades of Blue, Hustle and Flow, and Walk the Line. And if you go on this side, what's it say? Kind of the same thing talks about the Mr. Train movie. There it is, guys. Famous arcade. Now, Elvis, when he would leave here, he would leave right out of that door. We'll tell you about that more when we go inside. There's the front of it. So this place is right on the corner of what is it? I think South Main Street. Oldest restaurant in Memphis. Directly across the street from the arcade is the Central Station. This used to be a train area, and there's some famous pictures of Elvis getting on the train with uh, kissing Anita Wood. So maybe I'll post a couple of them, put a couple of them up here right after this clip. So right there that is. It says it's a hotel today. Right here, guys, this is where Elvis would walk out. And I'm assuming, probably had a car sitting right there and he would take off if he got recognized. Hey guys, here's the inside of the arcade. It's just an old, small cafe. But they've added on, look like there's a lot of seating in this area. Let's walk through here. A little Elvis over there in that section, so. All the way back, a bar there, and it goes clear back through here. Wow, so it's a pretty good size now. Look at these old floors. There's the hours. So, get right back here and sit in the Elvis table. Here we go. Okay, let's walk back here to the back and check out the table that Elvis sat in. Looks like Bobby's sitting on his side. All right. Yo, Bobby, where are you sitting? I'm sitting where You're Elvis sitting where Elvis sat. All right, real quick. Elvis sat where Bobby's at, and he could look in this mirror, which has been covered up. A lot of it's been covered up with their, the way he could, if a bunch of people came in and recognized him or anything, he could just sneak right out this back door. So right there is where Elvis sat. While I was filming, Bobby snuck back here before me and got in my seat. How's it, I know. How's it feel? <laughs> See, now you can look in the mirror. Yeah, so if anybody, mirror. any of our fans come in here, yeah. we can sneak out the back. Yeah, the last two times I, I've let you sit here, so I thought, well, I'll take a turn. Yep. <laughs> but you got to watch out for our fans now in case they come in here. You know, we can oh, sneak out, you know, because you know we're going to be recognized <laughs> down here. Okay, guys, let's check out the menu here at the arcade. There's the breakfast. Got some French toast. Got some eggs. It's like say eggs redneck. It's different. Here's what Bobby got. The sweet potato pancakes. This place is famous for that and famous for one other thing, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Country ham, there's some pancakes, country fried steak, a breakfast sampler, some hash browns, and some other pancakes, and you start your day with some coffee. And some pizzas. We got pizzas in here, some buffalo chicken pizza. Got a breakfast pizza, Southwest, veggie, and create your own. I didn't know they had pizzas here. Then you flip it over, and we're just going to go through this quick. This is a lunch menu. Spicy bacon. Jalapeno. There's a Memphis thing. 
grilled cheese, chicken turkey, chicken tenders. I'm trying to find what we ordered. Right there it is, the Travel Channel favorite and Elvis Presley's a peanut butter and banana sandwich. And Elvis liked it with bacon, so I put bacon on it. So we're gonna eat it at the same place he got his. There's some toppings and there are your salads if you decide to come in here for lunch. This is probably the original floor and the tables. Just tell by the, the look of it. It's just old retro style. Right there, it says Memphis's oldest cafe. And I'm assuming that's the owners up there, but I don't know for sure. Pretty cool eating in here. So this is the view Elvis would have had. There's the door. There's John, and then there's the mirror. I'm sure that wasn't no, that on wasn't there. That there. painting wasn't on there. But that's from his angle. That's where he is. That's where he seems. I kind of showed earlier about being covered up. I wanted to show you guys his angle. He had me way suspicious looking like me sitting across from me. Bobby and I were just talking. How cool would it be if they had a plaque here saying that this was Elvis's booth? You know what? I bet you they did. I bet you people stole it. Because if you look behind us, right behind Bobby, in that booth, there's a plaque. Let me see if I can show you. Zoom in. Right there. That one says Rufus Thomas booth. So I would say there was one right there at one time, and people were stealing it, so they didn't put it back up. All right, here is the Elvis. Let me flip this up and just kind of show you. There it is. Had to get the fries because that's how Elvis got it. And there's Bobby's. Sweet potato pancakes with bacon now. She also could have got uh, eggs and hash browns, but we uh, skipped those so we could order this. Tell them what that is, Bobby. It's a peanut butter and banana cake. Yeah, and then it flies off the shelves here. They can't, it's hard to get in it. Yeah. So they, they still had it here this morning, so we decided to order. We knew we couldn't eat all that other stuff. And someone makes that okay. yeah. and brings it in. Yeah, it's not made here. It's made by uh, Tiny Bee, I think, or yeah. something bakery. Okay, Bobby, go ahead and try that. Okay, let's start there. Oh, this is, uh, I think these have been in uh, a couple magazines. Sweet potato pancakes from here. This place has been featured in some magazines and on some TV shows for the food. They're a little sweet, not just because of the syrup, but they are sweet. Tastes like a sweet potato, kind of. Kind of no, I, like, yeah, I don't even like sweet potatoes, but I actually tried yeah. these and thought these were good. Tastes like the, a little bit of a cinnamon taste to it. You like these, don't you? I get these every time. Yeah, every same time. Thing. We get the same thing every time we come in here. We come in here, we've been in here several times. We've never got anything I'm different. Give you three. Try their bacon. So, there's the bacon. Yeah. Done well, I like it. Okay, that's why we like it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's done well. So you recommend those, don't you? I do. But I'm going to recommend this because if you come in here, you want to eat the same thing Elvis ate. And I'm sure Elvis got different stuff when he came in here. But let's try this one out. Here we go, guys. Let's take it apart. Here we go. Got the peanut butter. The Kind of melted some good, got some bacon on there, some crisp bacon. It's pretty good. Wow. That is good. Now the bacon adds to that. Uh-huh. You know, bacon, adding the bacon on there gives that extra uh, crispiness to the sandwich. We can really taste the banana peanut butter. I can see why Elvis liked these. Now, if you ate too many of these, these probably definitely aren't good for you. Yeah, but, sure. Now, here's the question, John. I We did a video of me making this peanut butter banana sandwich a while back. Whose is better? Be honest. 
You don't have to I say like mine. Both. <laughs> I remember about yours. What we do remember is we put a lot of butter in. It. Yeah, we followed the recipe. No, I don't know if there's a half a stick of butter in this one, but the one you ate filled me up. We ate like what half of one. We and did. So full because I think so much butter. I don't think there's as much butter in this one. No, I don't think is. so. And in fact, we even said in that video that yeah. it was too much butter. They're both good. Let me try one more bite, you guys. Bam. Now that bite, you can really taste the bananas mixed in with it. There's nostalgia. Coming in here and eating the same thing that I always say. Yeah. Yep, yeah, throw some fries. Try a couple fries. The fries are good. Basic fries, but they taste good. After we get this done, we'll come back and we'll try the cake. All right, Bobby, try the cake out. Let's take a look at it, though. Yeah. That looks good. Three layers. You know, the peanut butter, I'm turning it, but the peanut butter icing. It's going to be rich. Yeah, you know that. Really. I mean, yeah, it looks nice. Get a big bite in there. There you go. Yep. You want get, get another one. I'll eat that one. You're just bringing that one over here on this side for me. It's the peanut butter. Let me just take a look. Okay. 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 <laughs> that icing is smooth. I mean, it's smooth. <laughs> smooth. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just smooth. <laughs> peanut butter is like, I don't know, that is just, that is really amazing. Is that good? Amazing, yeah. Is that a cake? Very fresh. Let's take a look inside. Taste the banana in there. I'm supposed to have a jar of that icing. Yeah. Maybe you can get them to give me the recipe. It's probably a secret. Probably is a secret. Very moist cake. If you ever get a chance, you gotta try this. Yeah, I mean, if you come here, you better come early because this thing's kind of hard to get. Most of the time you come here, it's already sold out. You know me, I want to go for the icing part. You're going to enjoy that. I bet you I am. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a mess now, but there's a lot of icing in there, so I'm just trying to get this in my mouth. Boy. Boy, that does taste good. Huh? That icing, I see what you say about being smooth. It's just smooth. Thank you. Thank you. I did. Okay, let's check out the bill at the Arcade Restaurant Memphis Oldest Cafe. It's, uh, what, 101 years old. There's Bobby's Coke, $2.95. There's uh, sweet potato pancakes, $5.75 looks like. A side of bacon, $3.25. Peanut butter and banana sandwich, $9.95. Add the bacon to the sandwich, so a grand total of... 30, 33. We're stuffed. So not bad. It's just the idea of coming in here and sitting where Elvis sat. I know there's a lot of movies made at. So nice little historic stop here in Memphis. Well, we just came out of the arcade, and Bobby, what did you think about that place? It's a great experience in there because that part of the uh, restaurant is, I think, everything before and the booth yeah. is still in the original. Yeah. Just to think that I sat with Elvis. You sat. got to sit, not me, guys. She <laughs> took it for me. But that's kind of neat, wasn't it, to be it able was. to have the same view that he had. And I, I got to eat a uh, sandwich made at the same place he did. So if you're into doing that kind of stuff, you definitely, if you're in Memphis, you definitely want to come here. And the food's good. Yeah, they gave you plenty of food. Didn't yeah, they? food is and, good. And uh, waitresses were very friendly. Super nice. It's yeah. very clean in there. Mm -hmm. Had a great time in there. But I also wanted to say, you're going to be seeing a lot of Elvis videos even though Elvis week is officially yeah, done. it's over. We filmed a lot more like stuff, so nice we'll day. be bringing those out in the next couple weeks. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. building.
guys. Today I'm here with Danny Smith. This is Elvis Presley's second cousin. He's going to tell you a little bit about uh, his channel and about this great museum here in Memphis. Yeah, uh, nice seeing, or I can't say you. Okay, nice yeah. talking to all of you. Look, I, uh, real quick, if you get a chance, uh, my channel's Memphis Mafia Kid. Uh, look us up on YouTube. We'd love to have you come over. We tell some uh, true Elvis stories. Uh, and also, I'd like to shout out to the Dojo and Museum here in, in Memphis. Uh, it's brand new. We just opened up, and this is where Elvis took karate from 1970 to 74. Uh, we're actually sitting in uh, our tiger's den. Uh, it, it looks like another room. I'm not going to tell you that room. I think you know it, but uh, we've got a lot. Y'all come down and see us.